everybody and welcome back to update number three to the Road to Gulliman painting challenge. Now if you're not familiar with the rules for this painting challenge, make sure to check the description below. All the information is going to be on that. It's a fun challenge, it's something that's keeping me on track to keep me busy over the summer. And I'm still going. I'm still going strong. In the first week we had five Premier's Marines to paint up in the week. We got that finished. The second week we had three Reavers. We got that finished. And in the third week... It was another five Premier's Marines. Now I wanted to put five Premier's Marines in this week because I wanted to get a lot of the bulk out of the way before I get to the a lot of the cooler characters, a lot of cooler models. So it's nicer to get the bulk out of the way so it doesn't start dragging me down the further I get along on the painting challenge. But I got the five Premier's Marines finished just about. So uh, let's switch to the table view and have a look. Alright, so here we are, we have the five premieres guys all finished up. Um, not really a whole lot of a difference from the first five that I did. I think the first five I might have had one plasma weapon, but there was two in this one. But if we have a look at the better detail. So you can see that I kind of, I might have went a bit lighter with the highlights with these guys, simply because I'm getting better at fine tuning the better highlights. So. I kind of just picked certain points instead of trying to do a lot of edge highlights over a large area. So like probably just like the corners here up on his elbow. Kind of the sharp corners around the parts of his waist and everything. But other than that it's very similar to the other first five guys that did. The only big difference is I tried something different with the base. Instead of just doing a cork base I put, uh, what was the name of it? Uh, Astro Knight, Astro Granite, sorry, um, like I did with the Reavers, I put the Astro Granite all over the edges next to the cork base and it's 10 times better than just having plain cork base and I went over it with a lighter dry brush, I'm pretty sure it was Screaming Skull as a dry brush to bring out the edges to highlight them a little bit more. It's a little bit too much I think, but... It's just a little difference to kind of separate the units and um, again instead of just using like a lighter grey I kind of went with the kind of palish colour I think you'd describe it but it worked out really well. So the only major difference is we had these two guys with the plasma weapons. Now I tried to do kind of a little glow effect with the plasma guns and it's it's okay it would do for tabletop standard but I wanted to get it a little bit better than that so I think I'm going to come back to it once I've done a little bit more research and once I've started to practice it a bit more and I might just touch up the plasma parts on the weapons again but other than that they're looking good and uh, I'm happy with them they turned out okay you know just took a little bit of time the only thing I did with this guy that was different is instead of having a bald head, just it was literally on a whim, just as I was nearly finished, I just painted his top of his head grey instead of just giving him a plain bald head. So it looks like he has a little bit of hair. So that turned out pretty okay. And again with the plasma weapon glow. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research, a little bit more practice to get that nailed down. And then I think I'll come back to it and... I'll, f I'll uh, get these guys redone. Just the tips of the plasma weapons. Now, with these five guys finished, I'm going to start moving on to a lot of the different models. Like, I'm not going to do any more playing Primaris, Marines, or Reavers for a while. So, like I said in the last video, the next thing I'm going to be working on is this guy, which is Lieutenant Calcius. Now, this is a hero model. It's a great looking model. He looks fantastic. I love the pose. So I'm going to be working on him this week. Now he's pretty... Most of them is pretty standard. It's like a lot of the same for the prim, from the Primaris Marines. Except he has a few little more details. The shoulder pad. Um, this kind of purity seal thing here on the back. So just little minor details and of course the sword here as well. Now this is, I'd imagine, a power sword. Maybe it might have a different name if since he's a character. But what I really want to do is, if I can get a little thing here to point. I want to get this section here to do a nice little glow to get the look of a power sword. So what I might try and do is 
get a little bit of a object source light and so this will be like a like a bright blue and then it'll kind of put an effect all around here and maybe up along this arm as well to try and make him stand out instead of just looking like a standard marine although his base is way bigger than the other guys so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this guy I love this model he's so cool and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this update video so I'm still going strong I'm really happy so if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button comment and subscribe uh, I love getting your feedback and once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video